Carvana, the fancy online car vending machine, is in the news, and the news isn't good. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth to help you car buyers out there figure out what to do or how to avoid a title problem when buying a used car. We do hope to give you enough value so you consider subscribing if you're not already on board with us. Always ask to see that car title before agreeing to buy a used car, and then make sure you get the title before you sign the paperwork. This is true whether you're buying from a dealer or a private party seller. The title should always be in the seller's name. If not, just walk away, especially if it's a private party seller, because it's probably just a car salesman curbing cars from his own dealership. So what's going on with Carvana, Kevin? Well, they were on Channel 2 News in Oklahoma after they left a customer high and dry without a title for their car. Months have rolled by, still no title. Here's the news report. Check it out. Used cars, they are a hot commodity these days. Prices just up over 40 percent since 2021, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Skyrocketing prices due in part to the scarcity brought on by pandemic triggered supply chain and workforce issues. Buying cars online can certainly be convenient and may even save you some cash. However, before you buy online, Two News Oklahoma problem solver Pete Knudsen has a consumer warning about a critical part of the deal if missed can cause heartache and budget ache. In their driveway in Owasso, there it sits. What I've had it have is a, a car. Oh. It's a really pretty garage decoration at this point. A used car for which they had searched high and low during a time when they're difficult and expensive to find. But at the end of January, David Snell thought he had found one online through Carvana. We were excited about having another car. It, gives us a little bit more freedom. David says they enjoyed driving it, at least for the first month, until their temporary 30-day tag expired. But Carvana never sent them the title, he says, so he can register the car and buy his permanent tag. Now I realize they're dealing in, you know, tens of thousands of, of vehicles um, across the United Still States. Still no excuse. But the Snells say they desperately need their title so they can legally drive their car, not just let it sit in the driveway. I'm losing some sleep, <laughs> not gonna lie. Losing a lot of time too during the last couple of months. I call every day, uh, uh, at least once or twice, just to see if I can get a hold of the magic combination. So far wow. though, David says, no magic, only excuses. Although the company did offer David an extended 90 day temporary tag, which he soon found out after being stopped is a no-go in Oklahoma. Oh no. Fortunately, David says police didn't impound his vehicle. He was allowed to drive home instead to park it until the title finally does arrive. Honestly, I've given up a lot of hope. <laughs> That's when David contacted the problem solvers. We tried for more than a month to get a hold of Carvana about David's title delay, but they didn't respond to two phone calls or three emails. Then we contacted the Oklahoma Used Motor Vehicle Commission which regulates used vehicles. We have spoken with Carvana about that. Um, that's uh, an ongoing issue. Uh, we are addressing it. Ongoing, Brian Wilson with the Oklahoma Used Motor Vehicles Commission says, because it's received 31 complaints about missing titles so far this year, and Carvana's involved in seven of those cases. For the most part, uh, dealers do a really good job, licensed dealers do a good job of getting titles to their customers. But no matter what dealer you're buying from, the commission recommends you make sure you see the title before buying, before signing any loan papers. One of the things that's really important for uh, us, uh, consumers to know uh, is to talk to the dealer, work with the dealer. Uh, if the dealer does not have a title, uh, that's something that you should really consider. The commission says Carvana is licensed in Oklahoma. That means Carvana is responsible to pay for all late fees and other costs a customer is charged because of the title delay, even daily charges if the car gets impounded. For now though, that doesn't get David his title. It's kind of a cat and mouse game. It's, uh, I'm supposed to make my car payments, um, and, and, and I still am, but I have no, no actual direct relief uh, by the state to, uh, to get another temporary operating permit to get uh, anything else like that. Now, as he waits and waits and waits some more for his title, he warns others. I recognized them. I respected their brand, thought that they would be reputable. And I would hate to see anyone else get into this situation. 
um, as I have. For now, the Snells just wonder how long it'll be until they can take their new garage decoration out for a spin. Pete Knutson, 2 News Oklahoma, Problem Solvers. Time to get your act together, Carvana. And used cars are indeed a hot commodity, as we've heard here. With prices up over 40% from last year, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, buying vehicles online can certainly be tempting because it's convenient, and you may even save some cash, but always exercise some caution before you buy online. There's a critical part of the deal, otherwise known as the title, that if missing can cause heartache, biting you in the butt, just as this Owasa, Oklahoma couple has experienced in the news story we just heard. You heard David Snell explain the end result of his missing title, what I have is a car that's pretty much a garage decoration at this yeah. point. This isn't the only thing that Carvana is in the news for. Carvana, known by some as a pandemic star, has also experienced some financial suffering recently and reported its first ever decline in quarterly sales. Carvana said it would raise capital as the online used car dealer struggled with disruptions in its operations, all while facing tougher economic conditions. Carvana shares fell as much as 24% in overnight trading before recovering. They dropped 9% overall in regular trading. Carvana said it plans to sell $2 billion in common and preferred stock, in part to fund their planned acquisition of Odessa US. Seems like a little bad timing for a major acquisition, just as the yeah. company is floundering. Carvana said it sold 105,185 cars to retail customers during the first quarter, or about 7,800 fewer than the previous quarter, hmm. though up from a year earlier. Its net loss widened to 260 million compared to 36 million a year earlier. Gross profit per unit, one of the company's preferred earning metrics, and an earning metric loved by many dealers, sure. fell from $3,656 a year ago to $2,833 more recently. In the past six months, the initial tailwinds that propelled Carvana to rapid growth have turned into headwinds. Rising interest rates, falling used car prices, inflationary consumers, and a declining appetite for its debt have upended Carvana's ambitious growth targets. Way to want to stay away from that debt, you car buyers. Yeah. Carvana has just over $3 billion in long-term debt and said it's no longer providing financial guidance for the year due to rising interest rates rising fuel prices, and macroeconomic uncertainty, all affecting the used car market right now. Carvana said in February that it expected retail sales of over 550,000 cars for the full year. Bottom line, exercise some caution with Carvana. You could get burned by a missing title just like the Snell family in Oklahoma, and also be aware that across the country, consumers have filed dozens of complaints with state regulators against Carvana and hundreds of complaints with the Better Business Bureau about issues that include incorrect paperwork, delays getting their titles and registrations, and other issues, the Wall Street Journal reported. A company spokesperson told the journal, Carvana has pioneered online car buying by continuously delivering exceptional experiences, and we have bought and sold well over a million cars with customers. Well, that may have been true, but the glory days of Carvana are clearly in their rearview mirror. As Liz said, exercise some caution when it comes to Carvana. The Better Business Bureau collected 899 complaints from Carvana shoppers in 2021 through September, the journal reported. That's more than twice the 411 complaints recorded for their rival CarMax for comparison. If you'd like to say thanks for our video today with a tip, the links showing up here will be easy to find in the description box below. And if you appreciated this video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up. And please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with family and friends and subscribe if you're not already on board with us. Also, if you go out and get yourself what you believe to be a good car deal and are treated fairly and respectfully by a dealer, please remember to come back and comment so that others know who the good guys are. Exactly. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. Did you notice something else, Liz? What's that? Well, unlike Carvana, this video has a title. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.